welcome back to our channel today I'm going to be working on two custom units and I'm just showing you here that I like to use the L'Oreal high color when I'm dyeing my um, units black the two custom units that I'm working on I dyed both of them black um, they're pretty much the same unit they're both 14 inches the only thing is that one has a bang and one is a left side part so I did record me um, working on the bang unit. I didn't record the other one, but I'll insert pictures at the end so you can see how it came out. But I thought I would share the process of how I created the bang unit. Now this is like my second time making a bang unit. The first one I made, it's been a while, it's been a, a long while. So um, it did take me a while to make the unit. I worked really slow because you, you, know, you didn't want to cut off too much hair. And you want to take your time and and do this to get the bang right I wanted the bang to be like a fringe bang not too patchy though so I took my time and I uh, worked on it here you just see me I'm molding it down into place and then I use the scissors and the razor comb to achieve the look So I like to put the wig on the mannequin head when I'm cutting to give me a more realistic um, cut because it's like, you know, cutting it on an actual person versus the canvas head. And I try to keep it like right above the eye because I don't want to cut it too short. And then I use the razor comb to thin out the um, inside of the bang. And then I pretty much just go back and forth with the scissors and the razor comb until I get it the way that I want it. I just use the flat iron to bump the um, the bangs, and then I'll see how it looks. I'll go back in with the razor comb and the scissors, and I also use the hot comb to help flatten the bangs. I do want to get more practice with the wigs, with the bangs. Um, I don't have many people that do order bangs. I guess now that the weather is going to start getting warmer, a lot of people maybe like to wear bangs. So hopefully I can get more practice with it. I do want a bang unit myself, so I'll probably make one for myself. Just to get some more practice in. So here I'm just going to flat iron the wig. I'm just straightening the hair. After I straighten the hair, I'll go back and work on the bangs a little bit more. And then you'll see the end result.
I've been creating, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see a lot of um, wigs I've been creating. I've been working with um, colors a lot more, uh, which is good because it's expanding um, you know, my wig skills and giving me people more options on my website. As far as customs, people like to send me pictures and I've been recreating them. And I've been stepping outside my comfort zone and believe me, it is making my business grow. So don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone. If someone sends you something, if you think you can do it, if you know, if you think you're capable of doing it, do a little bit of research and you know, you should be all right. And don't be afraid to expand your skills by taking courses. I did take a layering course recently and I've been cutting layers into my wigs and my wigs have been looking so much different. I have a scheduled color course coming up, which will um, help me with coloring. And yeah, just, you know, and don't be afraid to um, to expand your skills. It's only going to help your business. So we can do this. Let the journey begin. I want to thank you so much for watching my videos. And welcome to all of our new subscribers. Um, you know, I haven't been doing this long. So I do love sharing my journey with you guys. And hopefully, as always, I hope you can take something from my video. This is the other unit that I made. Thank you so much for watching.